the world of pharmacogenomics is a new world. It is a world that doesn't give us all the answers what we want, but it's getting closer every day. And it can really help us improve outcomes for those most difficult to treat patients. The multidisciplinary nature of this program here at the Cleveland Clinic is really, I think, what sets it apart. It includes medical genetics, genetics counselors, pharmacogenomic specialists, in collaboration with the pharmacy, the Learner Research Institute, the laboratory, Towsig Cancer Institute, as well as other clinical arms. I'm Karis Eng. I'm the inaugural chairwoman of the Genomic Medicine Institute, which is where you're standing, and the inaugural director of the Center for Personalized Genetic Healthcare at the Cleveland Clinic. Why is this multidisciplinary team important? Because the, we want to look after not just the whole patient and all the diseases they may have, um, but also their families. So for example, I discovered P10 a long time ago in 1997. And we also showed that if there is a germline mutation in P10, so a fault in the P10 gene, that people like you and me who inherit it will have a super high risk of breast cancer, thyroid cancer, endometrial cancer, colon cancer, and melanoma. Because of the research in this lab and the clinical team, we are able to actually determine when the risk of each cancer begins to rise. So we can offer the patients enhanced surveillance to catch cancers early or even to prevent them. And that is the power of cancer genetics. I think we should emphasize pharmacogenomics because many medical geneticists and uh, genetic counselors are not comfortable with pharmacogenomics, but they don't have to go it alone. They should em embrace a formally trained pharmacogenomicist like Dr. Hawkins. My name is Jennifer Hawkins. I'm the pharmacogenomics clinical specialist at the Cleveland Clinic. Mainly, I think Cleveland Clinic recognized very early on the innovative nature of pharmacogenomics, and we have worked very hard on a couple of major accomplishments. The first is really establishing a pharmacogenomics clinic uh, that is collaborative and provides evidence-based medicine to our patients to improve uh, patient outcomes. So our partnership with uh, the Genomic Medicine Institute and the Center for um, Personalized Genetic um, Healthcare is critical to our alignment with being innovative. Uh, so when you look at medications, a patient is responsible to the medication. Depends on many factors, but two that are most important. One is the pharmacology or kinetics of the drug is where we come in, pharmacy. The second may be the genetics. Historically, those lived in two different worlds. And with the addition of Jennifer, she bridges the gap and brings those two important data elements together to make a better decision for patients. For the longest time, perhaps until 2015, um, pharmacogenomics was so specialized, nobody even understood what it was, not even clinicians. And as more research data came that linked the uh, variation in pharmacogenes, so genes that um, affect metabolism of uh, drugs or even the activation of drugs to an active form, that there are genetic variations in those genes that can actually help people, help the doctors choose the right drug for the right person at the right time. When we work with Dr. Hawkins, we're going to identify patients in our clinic who maybe are struggling to understand um, why they aren't responding to medications, especially in terms of like mental health uh, medications. And so we'll send patients to her to run and interpret genetic testing to better understand what medications they might or might not benefit from based off of their genetic profile. Our pharmacogenomics knowledge is continuously growing and we are at a point where a patient's test results may not only be helpful in the current situation, but also in the future, should for example a new diagnosis be made for which treatment with medications is required. So while pharmacogenomic testing is often ordered for a specific problem, Working with an innovative pharmacogenomic expert, such as Dr. Hawkins, who not only addresses a specific gene-drug interaction, but is able to interpret the pharmacogenomic testing result in a very comprehensive way, allows us to use the information in a very broad context. For example, let's say a patient was referred due to side effects to an antidepressant drug. We can use the pharmacogenomic information now to better guide medication choice or drug dose. But at the same time, we are building a system to use these results also in the future should a patient need medication for a new diagnosis, such as cancer or certain cardiovascular diseases.
at center for geriatric medicine we see uh, older patients we see medically complex patients we see patients who have cognitive and behavioral issues we are using these group of medications most commonly ssris SS, snris these are very commonly used antidepressant medications and we are often using our clinical judgment after trying one or two or in many cases three or four medications uh, to address these behavioral and psychological manifestations of dementia what pharmacogenomics brings to the table is the evidence behind uh, use of these medications the Lerner Research Institute is the main research arm of the Cleveland Clinic Health System. The health system is global and our research is global too. But everything we do in research applies for patient care. We have patients first in our model of what we do. We want to make a difference to improve the care of patients today and tomorrow. We have uh, two major directions that pharmacogenomics is really going in the future. Number one is trying to come up with uh, a method to really incorporate artificial intelligence to allow for uh, pharmacogenomic-based recommendations that are incorporated seamlessly into patient care. The second is we're working on expansion of pharmacogenomics across the enterprise. And one of the exciting projects we're working on is really expanding to potentially provide pharmacogenomic testing to uh, all patients in Cleveland Clinic London when it opens. I think it's important for uh, people to understand that pharmacogenomics is unique and it re really requires a team of experts to provide the interpretation and recommendations because there's so many factors we have to take into account to optimize that patient care. We are one of the few medical genetics centers that is comprehensive under one roof so that we can practice under the same highest standards of the Cleveland Clinic way.